I don't know. What are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> Is it going? Is it recording? Is it recording? I hate this. <laughs> What's wrong? So Let's talk some beer! <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for showing up here. I have special guest Kyle Mayrold. 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 Either one, you pick. Half of his blood is probably consistent of Hopsland, which is why he's on this episode here. Kyle, thanks for being on, brother. Yeah, I brother. appreciate it, man. Yeah. We're not doing a review this time, so it's a little different this time around. Um, we're actually kind of doing a compare contrast. We're doing a Pepsi challenge with Hop Slam. So right here we got 2020's version of Hop Slam. We got 2021's version of Hop Slam right Literally here. Literally exactly one year apart. Yes, yes. So we're gonna blindly go into this. Kelsey Helwig is out there. She's going to kind of randomly give us one year, both at the same time. We're gonna drink it. We're gonna talk about it and get the second one and so forth. Let's get into it. <laughs> Thanks. Did you have a hop slams today? I had three. You had three hop slams. <laughs> I haven't had any hop slams today, so I'm kind of contrary to my belief. Though he said, "Don't drink before the video because I want you to have your taste buds all the way 100 percent." And I came in the house and he was drinking beer. How many hop slams this year do you think you've had? You had to put a number to it. Uh, yeah, price or a beers? A <laughs> beers. Oh uh, man, probably. I'm probably pushing a. 24 pack or two. <laughs> okay. That's plus fair. a keg. Yeah. Oh, plus a mini keg. <laughs> Kelsey. What year is this? Not telling you. That's right, we don't know! And I'm so happy about it! So I gotta say, right off the bat, uh, it's still carbonated. Again, I don't know if it's this year's or last year's, but it's still bubbly. Awesome. The crazy thing about it is, I hate to try to give it away right off the rip, but if, if this came out of the bottle, you wouldn't see a lot of foam on top. Because it would kill it off instantly. Because it's 10%. You think it's the bottle? So you think it's this year's? I do. Alright, well, bottoms up. So, personally, I will say this about this year's Hot Slam versus last year's. I found last year's to be way more honey driven versus this year. It has like a floral. It's not my favorite Hot Slam this year. A little bit drier out of the bottle due to the can short. Yeah. So you can tell it's it's quite a bit drier. Yep. I think this is the, the 2021 version right here. I think it has more of that floral note I was talking about. I'm not getting too much of the honey. It is boozy as all fluff. A little bit of caramel. Yeah. The, the hot presence is still dominantly there, which I don't think is going to be in the 2020 version. Though, no. Because it's a year old. Definitely the 2020 is slamming heavier than the 2021, I'd say. But what do you think of it, though? I mean, oh, I love it. Yeah. I mean, okay. A, <laughs> now, it, they're crazy. There's a lot of other IPAs, but Bell's being a Michigan brewery, it's in big competition, but still, it's an original beer. Yeah. You know, that's why I enjoy hops so yep. much. And for an IPA, I'm an IPA guy. Uh, I think it's my favorite one out there. It has a unique taste to it there. There's nothing out there that tastes quite like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so round one is out of the equation here. We got through it. Hey, excuse me, another one. Now, see, to your point just a second ago. I know, and oh. one of these is not like the other. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But again, what's still cool, and I know it's probably hard to see, but they're both very carbonated still. So yes. this, both came out very strongly carbonated. One doesn't look flat over the other. All right, let's see, here we go. Oh, come on, man. It's way, way smoother, I feel like. That's out of the can. <laughs> it's guaranteed out of the can. I'm saying, so we're, we're now thinking that this is 2020. It's a substantially different taste. We're thinking that this is last year's. But it's still, again, I think it tastes very good. It's got like a piney smoother, for sure. That's where I was gonna go, way smoother. And you know what? I still get the honey. Yeah. And they say drink fresh like now. They have that like labeled everywhere. You're not supposed to let these sit. So no. I'm kind of being like, you know, the, the wrong person and keeping one for a year, but I don't mind it. No, I don't mind it at all. So, but that's definitely the truth of it. It's a, it's an open and shut case. You cannot let it sit. <laughs> okay, we can sure. add that. That's 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 too easy. I almost farted. Listen. We'll send... <laughs> 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 Out of the bottle, it's not very sweet, but 
This, I get a way sweeter taste out of this one. Yeah. And I'm not any kind of a beer connoisseur at all. I'm yeah. just getting into craft beer, but... Hop Slam is his craft beer, Hop pretty Slam much. Hop Slam that, that, That's about as far as it goes. Comparably, I'm always going to go Hop Slam. I was going to say, let's be honest. Yeah. It's the type of percent that really... <laughs> two of them really gets my night going <laughs> quick, so... It's not, why I have five beers when you can have two exactly. and get the same effect. It is definitely... It's, it's more sweeter. I still find the honey aspect going on with it there. Still has a lot, a lot, a lot of hops going on with it. Yeah. For anybody that's watching so far into this video, if you are sitting on 2020 Hopsland thinking that you did something wrong, you're right. if this is, again, we don't know yet, I really don't know, if it is, uh, you're you're fine. You're okay. uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Last year's, this round, previous, was 2020. I gotta take more money on that. I okay. think the first one is definitely out of the bottle. These, This one is out of the can. I respect them both, but if I had to choose, it's... I'm going can. I hate to say it. Really? Because I like the bottle. I like the look of the bottle, and I like to drink out of a bottle. But if I'm going for pure taste out of Hot Slam, I'm going can. Yeah. Uh, bartender, Kelsey, what did we have? Round one was. Yeah! Oh, come on. Woo! <laughs> Round two was. In fact, Obviously, okay. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I'm blown away at how good. This still tastes still respectable. A year later, and a game changer in the IPA world. Well, welcome to craft beer world, brother. World now. <laughs> Kyle, thanks for being on, man. I Absolutely appreciate it. Right. It was fun doing this. We've been trying to get him on here for a hot minute, and finally showed up. It was only about six hours later they actually decided to show up. And a year and a half after probation. <laughs> 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 Guys, if you did enjoy this video, as always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, have a beer, have one of these, even if you have the last year's version, and hey, we will see you on the next one. Oh, cheers, cheers brother. Brother.